Thank you. My name is Gayatri, uh, and I'm here uh, speaking on behalf of the Gender Dynamic Coalition. Now, the Gender Dynamic Coalition has met actually twice during the last few days, and I would like to take this opportunity to speak on behalf of the coalition, where I would like to share some of our thoughts as well as recommendations. And I think we will be trying to address some of the points that the moderator has asked in terms of questions. Um, we would like, I would like to start by uh, putting on record that we uh, appreciate, or at least the coalition appreciates, the recognition that was given in terms of discussions, um, in terms of uh, gender, is, and, and, and that women actually constitute a fundamental stakeholder in the information society. So um, we think that this is an important beginning, and there will, that we hope that uh, there will be more efforts in terms of fully integrating gender uh, or gender concerns in the work of the IGF. Now, I think it's also important to recognize that in terms of the multi-stakeholderism, that the three main sectors uh, uh, that are IGF's defining uh, features are not monolithic, unitary, and consistent actors. Hence, uh, greater effort is required to bring women's diverse perspectives to the forefront in each of the stakeholder groups. So, ultimately, a rights-based approach, something that we have heard quite a lot in the last few days, uh, in terms of internet governance, is really the only safeguard for women to fully enjoy the potential benefits of the internet. So that's recognizing what has happened in the last few days in terms of uh, um, the contributions or the spaces given in terms of women's uh, rights. Um, two of the themes, I think, that really uh, uh, took part or at least featured discussions in terms of gender perspectives uh, were the access themes as well as the openness, privacy, and security. Uh, it clearly illustrated the ways in which internet governance implicates rights of women and that uh, rights that are central to women. So uh, the coalition feels that uh, access to internet is very, very critical to women to access information that may not be otherwise available to them and to facilitate the full realization of these rights. So for women from marginalized communities, uh, the internet can also function as the harbanger of citizenship rights bridging their rights to be informed with the duty of governance uh, institutions to inform uh, the constituents. So the provisioning of the internet is very, very fundamental in terms of social policy issue. Policy that aims to make the internet available only to one billion at a time, uh, we feel is not an adequate response. And from a rights perspective, access to internet is indeed crucial to all. Uh, in terms of the discussions on the openness, privacy, and security, it's clear that they have very gendered angles as well. Uh, the internet is fast becoming a means of asserting IP and proprietizing and commercializing knowledge. Um, the process diverse, divests knowledge of the communitarian and public value upon which the daily lives of the vast majority of women rest. So in addition, women's ability to assert rights beyond national territories and shape human rights de debates and development alternatives cannot happen in a context where the internet is increasingly controlled by states and corporations. Many women do risk their lives to share information about injustices on the internet. I just request a little bit more time. Um, how do we actually guarantee that women's rights will be addressed? Now, just like women's rights to education, to health, and livelihoods, we feel that the rights to internet cannot be bartered in the name of revenue models or public-private partnerships. So their right to internet cannot be marginalized in the befuddling rhetoric on the right business models. So while the markets may have a role to play, gender justice can only be guaranteed through appropriate global, regional, national, and local policy. So in essence, the participation of women stood at 30% and 31% in Rio. While this is relatively good representation, we do call on the stakeholders of the IGF to ensure that in Cairo, this is reflected in the visibility of women as speakers, panelists and workshop proponents. Women and gender experts should be actively included in all endeavors of framing the regulation mechanisms and policy models. And in addition, we feel that it is essential that gender perspectives are included in all public policy debates regarding the use and development of the internet. So we do call upon the international community to devote the next IGF theme to a theme of rights-based approach to the internet. And for a majority of the world's women, the internet represents an enabling paradigm that can guarantee not just their communication rights, but expand all of their rights. And as long as women's rights have not been addressed, the dream for an internet for all will remain unrealized. Thank you.